Hey guys, and welcome back to Pool Shed Games. I am Andrew, also known as Lich Lord, and today I'm going to be talking about a book again. And the name of this book is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. This is the first book in a fantasy series. Uh, the name of the series itself is The King Killer Chronicles. Uh, it's a very good book. I just recently finished it not too bad, not too long ago, and uh, I really like it a lot. Uh, it was first published in 2007 by Daw Books. Uh, it was the winner of the Quill Award. It, it was also on the uh, New York Times bestseller list for a pretty long time, too. But it is extremely good, and I, I'm really looking forward to reading the second novel in the series. And it's supposed to be a, a trilogy, so I'm also really looking forward to reading the third book when it finally comes out. I haven't read the second one yet. I've just, I just read this one, and I just want to talk about it because I really, really like it. And I think it's the beginning of a very, very good series. Anyways, Patrick Rothfuss is an upcoming uh, fantasy writer. Uh, if you're familiar with the author himself, he's very uh, connected to his fans. He has a lot. He has appeared seven, several times on uh, Geek and Sundry's uh, YouTube channel, on, and he actually has a segment on there called Storyboard, which is a very good segment. Uh, he's also been on uh, Tabletop, I think, once. Yeah, he was on uh, Tabletop Day. He did a game with Will Wheaton which is really cool. He also was on Sword, the Sword and Laser show, where he talked about the name of the wind. Uh, and he's a very interesting guy. I I, I, you know, I, I really like his writing, and I, th I think he, he's uh, he's, he's going to be writing a lot of really good stuff in the future. At least I hope he does, because I really want to read more of his stuff. But anyways, this is the King Killer Chronicle, and basically the story of, of these novels is the story of the hero. But it's not your normal hero, and it's not your normal story of the hero. It, it the, the narrative style is very interesting. It's very different from a lot, from almost anything else I've ever read. Uh, the hero himself is very interesting, very different from any other hero I've ever, I've ever read about. And uh, I, I, I was while I was reading this, I was just very connected with the, the world he created, the uh, the characters within this, within this world, and I don't know. I, most fantasy is is kind of the story of the hero, and uh, you know what's cool about this story is you kind of get the stuff that you don't hear about. You know the mistakes he's made, maybe uh, the terrible things he's gone through in, in his throughout his childhood, throughout you know his life in general, uh, throughout his time at the university, which is in the book. If, if you've read it, you know what I mean. If not, then read it, and you will know what I mean. But it, it's really interesting that. Uh, you get the you get the story of the hero, but you also get the little stuff in between that you never hear about with with the hero. Like I mean, I don't know. It's just interesting. Um, the book itself was published in two thousand seven, and as I said, it was the first. It is the first of three. The second book is also out, which is the Wise Man's Fear. I've not read yet. I just finished this not too long ago. But I guess I'll talk about the narrative style itself a little bit. What you're getting in this book is basically a story within a story. You're getting Kvoth, which I'm pretty sure I pronounced his name right. If I didn't, I'm sorry, but that's just how I pronounce it. But uh, you're getting the story of Kvoth from when he's older, from from when you know, his, from when his heroics, if you want to call it that, have already happened, and you're getting it kind of in retrospect. So the the story uh, starts out. He is Kvoth is is running in a small inn in kind of, you know, a country town called the Waystone Inn. And uh, you, you don't exactly know what is what has caused him, what has led to him being where he is. You're never sure exactly why he's there. Uh, he is accompanied by a, a sort of, I don't know, I wouldn't call it demon, but kind of like a, uh, I don't know, yeah, I, I think what people in the world themselves would probably call a demon or kind of like one of the fairy, one of the, kind of a, a one of those types of thing who's, who's called Bast, and uh, it, it's a really interesting story there too. And I'm, I mean, as I said with the first book, I'm not exactly sure what how how they got to know each other, how they, uh, which he is actually Kavot's uh, apprentice. He's learning from Kavot, which I, I, I'm uh, interested to see how how that happened in the first place. But basically, the the beginning of the plot is 
a scribe by the name of Chronicler, who's referred to as the Chronicler throughout the book, has, you know, wandered into this town looking to write stories, especially trying to find Kavoth and trying to learn his story. And he meets Kavoth on the road where they are attacked by these strange creature, creatures, which I'm not sure what they are yet because I've only read the first book. And hopefully that'll be answered a little bit more further you know, in the next two books. But uh, they're attacked by these creatures. Uh, Chronicler is, is slightly wounded. Kavoth takes him back to his inn, brings him back to health, and uh, Kavoth, or, or, uh, Chronicler basically recognizes who Kavoth is. And he goes, well, wait a minute, you're, you're Kavoth, you're this epic hero, and I, you know, I, I would love to hear your story. And he agreed, Kavoth agrees to, to hear the story, and uh, basically the story itself, the book, is Kavoth relaying his, his past to Chronicler. And, uh, you know, when I first started reading it, I wasn't sure how to take the narrative style. But when, as I as I continued to read it, I really, really liked it. It really felt like you were being told every little detail about his story through from him, which I really like that. I mean, you get the nitty gritty, you get you get everything, which is really cool. Uh, but basically, Kavoth's story it, it's 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 a pretty sad story. I mean, uh, he grew up in a troop where he he uh, him and his mother and father. Uh, Basically, we're, we're a wandering uh, group of minstrels and kind of, uh, I don't know, kind of a band, I guess you could call it that. They went around, they, they played music at different towns, and uh, basically uh, a terrible tragedy happens, and uh, Kavoth is kind of taken on a journey. It, 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 he's kind of started this journey after these kind of mythical creatures known as the Chandrian, who you know, who made this terrible tragedy happen in the first place. And, uh, you know, his, his journey to find them takes him eventually to the university where he starts to learn about, um, sympathy, which is the name of magic in, in, in these books. Uh, and basically it's a really interesting magic system. It's basically a way of, of kind of binding things to yourself and kind of extorting your will onto other physical things in the world, which is really cool. He also talk he also focuses a lot of stuff on, um, alchemy and things like that and it's really good it's really cool the the magic system is pretty cool and and uh, i mean there are a lot of really cool magic systems out there i don't know if anybody's familiar with the wheel of time where uh obviously yeah, you have the one power and you have all this stuff and and uh, I, I think that's one of the things that's really interesting about fantasy is kind of this magic system and i think it's interesting that a lot of writers are kind of taking a time to explain the magic systems which i mean if you've read tolkien he doesn't really explain the magic, I mean, the, the magic in the world isn't really explained. And and same kind of with uh, George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire series. The, the magic is very kind of in the background, and uh, it's not explained. Or in this book, it's it's really interesting, it's explained, and it, it, it's really cool. But, uh, I don't know, that, that's probably about it for this book. I don't want to put any spoilers in here. So I'll probably, so I'll talk about the first book there. But as I said, what's cool about this is that you get the story of the hero from the perspective of a hero. And you get, you know, one thing that you'll notice when you first start reading this is that Kavoth is not perfect. He, he has made some mistakes. He, he, he probably will make more mistakes in the, in the, uh, the future books. You know, he, he's not always the best with women, which is, I mean, I think, I think we're all, we can all relate to that to a certain extent. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's very inter interesting. And there are also, one thing I really like in fantasy is that there are some very strong and influential female characters, which is also very important in fantasy and I think is lacking a lot of other authors. But, yeah, it's really good. The second book, which I am going to be starting here, hopefully within, within the month, hopefully by the end of this month, I will start this. I'm reading the 14th book in the Wheel of Time series right now, which is A Memory of Light, and it is epic. <laughs> If you want to read a really good fantasy series, read uh, The Wheel of Time, because it's amazing, and it's coming to... I mean, I don't know what's going to happen, but it, it's going to be cool. But anyways, the second book is The Wise Man's Fear, which I also got in hardcover. And uh, yeah, I look forward to reading this. 
uh, things I've heard about this. I've heard a lot of people say that it's not as good as the first one. Um, I don't know. I haven't read it. Uh, but I look forward to reading it, and I look forward to reading a lot more from him. I, I hope the book is going to be, the third book is going to be really good, and I hope he goes on to write a lot more other stuff. Yeah, definitely. But uh, that's it for the King Killer Chronicle. Chronicles, uh, The Name of the Wind. I definitely, if you like fantasy, read this. It, it's, it's, it's probably one of my favorite books. It's quickly become one of my favorite fantasy books, at least. And uh, I, I really enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, pick it up. Anyways, that is it for this uh, book review slash discussion. It's not really a view. I mean, I feel bad calling this a review because if I were to review these books, I would just give them all a 10 out of 10 because I only really talk about the books that I really like. But anyways, uh, if you if you have read the book, uh, comment and you know, let me know what you think. Maybe you didn't like it. Maybe you didn't like the book. And if you want to start a discussion on that, like and favorite. If you like the video, comment, uh, subscribe. If you want to see more of them, more of these videos, I'm going to try to do one every other week. But anyways, have a good night, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>